today I'm doing smoked mackerel fish cakes I've got 700 grams approximately of potatoes in lightly salted water I'm going to put those on to boil I've got a pack of mackerel fillets um, two spring onions finely chopped some chickpea flour for coating um, an egg and a heat dessert spoonful of horseradish sauce which gives them a nice kick while the potatoes are cooking you need to prepare the mackerel um, if you bend them in half down the middle like that and feel along the edge uh, you will notice a few bones just pull them out with your finger and thumb especially at the thick end you don't want bones in your fish cakes so that's an important step also you need to peel off the skin comes off quite easily having said that not always right the potatoes are soft now uh, so I've drained them off I'm just going to mash them now normally with mashed potato I add in butter and milk or butter and cream but because these are fish cakes the potatoes need to be fairly firm if they're too soft the fish cakes won't hold together so the next thing to do is to pop the potatoes in the fridge to cool right down so that we can handle them so that will take about half an hour I'm not putting them in until they've cooled down because that would endanger the rest of the food in the fridge but they do need to be chilled so if you allow an hour for that process the potatoes are all chilled down now so we're going to add in the beaten egg the smoked mackerel which I've flaked the spring onion and the horseradish so give it a good old mix Now, clean wet hands. Shape the mixture into balls. So we want eight. And then flatten them and put them on a plate. And then we're going to chill them again before we fry them. nice flat cakes so again they're all shaped up now so we're going to freeze uh, not freeze them chill them down to make them easier to handle when we're coating them 
So I've chilled the fish cakes down. I'm just going to dip them in this polenta. It makes a nice crunchy coating when you fry them. Not as complicated or messy as the flour, egg and breadcrumbs method. And lowering fat really because there's not as much to soak up the fat. So we'll continue and I've got some vegetable oil in the frying pan ready to fry them up off. I've got just two tablespoonfuls of vegetable oil in the pan and that should be enough to fry all these. We'll press them down slightly. I'm going to cook them on each side for about five minutes until they're browned and I'm going to serve them up with some nice colourful mixed vegetables. So that's the finished dish. Uh, beautiful delicious smoked mackerel fish cakes with mix, mixed veg, a wedge of lemon for squeezing and a lovely dollop of tartar sauce. So I do hope you go ahead and try that, they are delicious, I've made them before and I just love fish cakes, they're so cheap and so easy to make. See you later, bye.